Bedrooms are the ultimate home sanctuary and there's many ways you can design them with colour, bedding, cool furniture and lighting. But I'm a carpenter and I love the look of wood and these days you can get the natural timber look but with a lot less hassle. And I think this alcove is the perfect spot for a feature wall. But first, I need to head down to Bunnings to grab some gear. There are so many options when it comes to coverings. You've got tiles, you've got marble look-alike, there's floating floors, and then there's these vinyl planks, which look fantastic. Now, usually, they'll be used on the floor, but in our case, we're using them on our feature wall, which are gonna look beautiful, and I reckon the pecan is the one to go. While we're at it, I'm grabbing some MDF sheeting, which will give us a nice backing to attach our panels. Shopping done. We can now get cracking on our bedroom makeover. First off, I'm going to measure the space and then find the studs. A handy way to locate the internal studs is with a digital wall scanner. OK, now to get the prep done for our vinyl planks. And not only do they look like real timber, they're easy to put up too. But before I do that, I'm going to cut up this MDF panel, which will give me a nice, smooth, even surface to work to. When you're cutting sheeting and you want to get a nice machine cut edge, it's a good idea to clamp down a straight edge. The next important step is to prime our surface. Although the planks are stick on, it's recommended to use a diluted solution of concrete to give the vinyl planks an extra strong grab to the wall. Right, now it's ready to go on the wall. But first, I've got one little job to do. I just have to transfer the stub marks I made earlier from the wall onto our MDF underlay. That way, when it goes up, you can be confident your nails are going to hit the right mark. Like a glove. All right, ready for the vinyl planks. Now, you might think that it's common sense just to start at the very top, but in most cases, like here, the ceiling and floor are out of level. So it's a matter of just finding the highest point, measuring down one plank, I'll do a level line, then work to the underside of that. For a DIY wire, this stuff is absolutely perfect. It's lightweight, there's no sawdust from cutting. It's literally just peeling the back and sticking it on. Another great thing about this product is it's very easy to trim to size. It's just a matter of marking it, scribing it, and then Snap it off. The fact that it's easy to cut is really handy because we still have to trim up the top row and the bottom. All right, all done. So a feature wall made of vinyl that looks exactly like natural timber. It's amazing. Almost there. A little later, I'm going to bring the whole new look together by knocking up a couple of matching bedside tables and just wait till you see the end result. Now we're making good progress on the bedroom upstairs, getting that real natural timber look. Earlier, I gave this alcove a big slice of personality with some vinyl timber look planks. But why stop there? What I'm thinking is some side tables, but not just your standard ones. These are going to be wall hung, which will give the look like they're floating and a real modern edge. So I've cut up some MDF, and now it's a matter of just gluing and screwing it together. It's looking good. Now I'm going to put on some concrete sealer. Recognise these? I'm using the same vinyl planks as I did upstairs, only this time the job's going to be a little bit more fiddly because we've got a lot of narrow cuts to do. So you just want to make sure that you take your time, get your measurements right, and then it's exactly the same process of just cutting your pieces out with your Stanley knife. And for the extra thin strips, a really good tip is to clamp down a straight edge because that's going to give you a nice controlled cut over the long distance. And once your pieces are all cut to size, 
Because they're self-adhesive, it's a very easy process to clad the box. Now, it's a matter of just giving it a quick sand. Look at that. You would have thought it was store-bought. Just got to get it on the wall. This is going to look magic. Now, there's a fair bit of weight in this side table with the MDF and the vinyl planks. So I've fixed the batten to the wall, and that's going to take all the load. And then I'm using these spring toggles to fix the cabinet against the wall. I won't be going anywhere. That isn't a standout feature. I do not know what it is. Remember what this room used to look like? It was plain and dull. But now it's got the look of natural timber and the feel as well. And the best part about it is it's all vinyl and it was as simple as sticking it on. 